everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello, my name is Katie and I live in Orlando, Florida. I do lots of shop with me videos at like Target and Hobby Lobby. I also do decorate with me videos and cleaning motivation. So if you love videos like that, definitely make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my new videos. Today's video is super exciting. It is the first installment of my decorate with me videos for 2020 with all of my new Christmas decor. A lot of the stuff that I show in today's video is going to be stuff that I have collected in my last several videos. So if you are interested in seeing where things are from, definitely go ahead and check out the videos that I have linked down below in case you missed them. And if there's something that isn't shown in those videos that you are interested in knowing where it is from, definitely go ahead and leave me a comment down below or shoot me a message on Instagram. Last week or so, I've actually started shopping at Joann Fabrics and Michaels for Christmas decor. I was really surprised by how much really, really cute stuff that they had, so I'm definitely considering doing a video there. So if that is something that you guys would want to see, a shop with me at Michaels and Joann's, definitely make sure you leave me a comment down below. I have also gotten some requests for doing shop with me videos at World Market and Kirkland, so if you guys want to see those things, just let me know down below. Your recommendations help me out a lot, because I want to make sure that I'm showing you guys exactly what you want to see. So definitely Definitely make sure to let me know don't be shy so here I'm basically just cleaning up my kitchen I needed to clean out the space so that I could you know clear my brain and get ready to decorate said I have bought so much stuff over the last few weeks and these are just bags and bags and bags of things I've bought in over the last like two or three weeks I have gotten all of it from like Hobby Lobby big lots the Target dollar spot Target like I said earlier Joann's and all of that stuff so this is my Hobby Lobby current setup honestly it's been set up like this like since Christmas of last year and I really like all this stuff but it's time for Christmas so I had to get all of that out of there completely clean up the space and then I'm the type of person where I need to have all of my options laid out in front of me so I can see every single thing so I just liked to go ahead and put everything that I was considering putting on the shelf over there that way I could just play with literally eight million different combinations which you'll see in a second is what I did I literally changed the shelf a solid 57 times even though my style has changed I still wanted to go through my old Christmas decor stuff because I knew there was some stuff in there that I was still gonna want to use so I definitely wanted to go ahead and sift through those buckets I only did like a light sorting I kind of just like whatever grabbed my attention I grabbed it um, but I'm gonna go through everything more tomorrow because I'm going to be filming two more Christmas decorate with me videos so definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on those here I am just grabbing a bunch of my Ray Dunn. I wasn't sure what I was going to want to use, so I was just grabbing the stuff that I thought I might want. I have a lot of Christmas Ray Dunn. If you haven't seen it yet, I actually recently did a video on my entire Christmas Ray Dunn collection where I go over every single piece and kind of my favorites and why they're my favorites and those sorts of things. So go ahead and check out that video yet if you haven't seen it and you love Ray Dunn. To start decorating my Hobby Lobby shelf I'm gonna be really honest with you guys going into this I didn't really know exactly what I wanted to do and like everything it's a lot of trial and error for me I just try a million different combinations until I find something that sticks 
and so I kind of really just started putting a bunch of different stuff on at first I thought I was gonna go with like a green like Christmas tree farm type theme winter thing honestly I had no idea so I just kind of had at it until I figured out exactly what I wanted to do which you will see in a minute definitely changes over to a cookie bar I have talked about doing a cookie bar in the last few videos that I have filmed so I'm not really sure why that's not what I did from the get-go here but listen nobody's perfect So after kind of playing around with all those different combinations and being severely dissatisfied, I remembered, oh yeah, all your measuring and baking and cute stuff. So I stacked all of those using crinkle paper in between each one, that way you could see what each one says, and then I went ahead and started back on the cookie theme. I put my little cookie swap cookbook that I got from the Target Dollar Spot last year, and then kind of just restarted the whole thing. I struggled a lot with that garland at first. I really did not know what to do with it. It just didn't look the way that I wanted it to look. And then also behind that North Pole cookie sign was a really weird gap, and so I struggled with finding things to put there. The front of the Hobby Lobby shelf is another area that is kind of hard to decorate because it doesn't really open that far and also it's just kind of like a weird height but I found that the little houses from the Target dollar spot this year fit absolutely perfect so if you're looking for something to use those for and you have this Hobby Lobby shelf I would definitely recommend doing that by this point I felt like I was getting really really close to being done but that garland was honestly just driving me so crazy so then I tried to string it a different way I didn't really know where I was going with this when I started but it ended up looking really 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 cute so I was super excited and then I don't know there was just still something about the shelf that just wasn't right so I was trying to just brainstorm and then I remembered that last year I actually used command strips to hang up the North Pole cookie sign behind on the wall so I decided to do that again and it ended up working out super well and looking really really cute so if you have a little backsplash that won't ruin the wall or anything command strips are definitely a way to add more depth to your Hobby Lobby shelf and I don't know I was just like I knew I was on to something here so I just started using Using all the little things I grabbed from the dollar spot this year all the little trees and all that stuff and anything to do with baking and just kept adding it to the shelf until I thought that it looked perfect and also my sister called me on FaceTime so you get to see her too this year from the Target dollar spot you would definitely know that they are killing it in the reversible and interchangeable signs department I decided to pick this one up just because I liked how you could make it super simple with just a little countdown and just a little Merry Christmas I really like the black and white with a little pop of red so I decided to pick that one up also can we talk about how close Christmas is luckily I've already started Christmas shopping normally I'm a very last-minute Christmas shopper but I definitely think that this year with everything going on that early bird gets the worm Up next on the Christmas decor train is the bar cart. 
First things first though, this thing needed to be cleaned. This is like one of those little areas that definitely gets neglected in like my everyday cleaning, but it is glass and mirrors, so it does get a little bit dusty. This actually is my roommate's bar cart, but she was nice enough to let me decorate it. She had decorated it really, really cute for fall, so I knew that I wanted to do a little something for the holidays. Similar to my Hobby Lobby shelf, I struggled a lot in the beginning with how I wanted to decorate this as well. I don't know why I was on the decor struggle bus this year. I think honestly I'm just really stressed because we're moving in the beginning of the year. So you might notice from this video that I actually sold my kitchen table and my bar stools prematurely. Um, I kind of just got ahead of myself and when they came to pick up the table they also wanted the bar stools which I was planning on selling anyways because like I have said over and over again my style has just changed a lot over the last few years and going into our brand new apartment I knew that I wanted to get all new stuff and just start completely fresh but this was the finishing touch on the bar cart I decided to go for like a gold and silver mixed metal theme just everything really really pretty and sparkly and glam because that's how my roommate is and I just felt like it fit the bar cart perfectly event which is the hutch and I know it looks really sad right now it's just filled with a bunch of stuff that's like dog stuff and then stuff that was left over from the fall and then Christmas stuff I knew I wanted to sell like I said we are in this really weird in-between stage of like packing for all of us to move combined with we just packed up all the fall decorations and now it was time to put out Christmas but a little secret for you guys by the time you see this video I actually already sold my hutch as well so I literally only decorated it for this video and then it went off to its new home where I know it will be very very happy it just definitely will not fit in my new apartment lobby shelf well that's kind of what I decided to go with here I wanted to keep it really really neutral tones like as much as possible but you know I couldn't not sprinkle in some of my most favorite Ray Dunn pieces so it's just a ton a ton a ton of trial and error just like always but I decided to grab a lot of the old pine cones that I used on my Christmas tree last year I really do try to keep as much of my old Christmas decor as possible it's definitely hard when you do what I do and have to buy a bunch of Christmas decor every single year but there are definitely worse problems to have but all of the Christmas decor that I decide not to keep, I ask friends if they want it, I make a little pile and I let a couple friends go through it and then whatever they don't want to keep, I go ahead and donate. with the bottom part of my hutch the depth of it just makes it like really really hard to decorate because you really want to fill the space but at the same time I was trying to keep everything really simple while also keeping in mind things that I wanted to use to decorate other parts of my house that you're going to see in my next two upcoming videos I think I got it all figured out and I'm really really happy with the way my hutch came out I think my little like woodland tree green vibes with pops of red definitely came through so I was really really happy and pleased with the way that it came out Alrighty, everyone. Well, that is going to be it for me today. I really hope that you guys were able to find some fun and creative ways to style some of the Target dollar spot items from this year and the Hobby Lobby items from this year. That was my goal for this video was to give you guys some fun and easy inspiration for using those pieces to decorate your areas this year. Definitely go ahead and leave me a comment down below with which area of mine was your favorite. Did you like the Hobby Lobby shelf better or the bar cart or the hutch? Definitely make sure you go ahead and let me know which was your favorite down below. Christmas decorating 
rating is my absolute favorite so definitely make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss my master bedroom Christmas transformation but like I said that's gonna be it for me so I will see you guys next time bye guys Bye.